Okay, so we've taken the servo out. And I've got it down here on the bench. I've just got it plugged into a cheap receiver here. And just confirm we've still got the same problem. Just got to find the spot. Sort of around there. Still jittery. There we go. So my guess is that there's a little bit of grease on the tracks inside the pot. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the servo and we're going to clean the pot. We need to remove the two screws from the bottom. We need to remove the top case. Okay, now you need to make note of where all of these gears go so that you can reassemble it back in the proper way. So, maybe you'd like to take a photo of it or just make good note of it. So the best way is just to pull this output gear that comes off and this is what we're left with So all we've got to do is remove this little plastic cover and actually you can see the grease that's come down off of the gears and has gone onto that little plastic cover and my bet is some of it has actually gone down onto the, uh, the tracks of the pot. So we need to flick off this little cover here. See, it is quite dirty on both sides there. So we give that little cover there a good clean. And here is our pot. Now I don't know if you can see this very well, but I can actually see a little bit of grease on the track in there. I don't know if you can just see it. From about there, all the way around to there, there's grease. You can just see it there. So Basically what's going to happen is the little wiper which is underneath this rotating part here makes contact with the, uh, the carbon tracks here. It's not actually a track but we'll call it a track. And um, that'll make poor contact and give us the jitters. So what I'm going to do is get myself a cotton bud. I'm just going to flatten it out, which I have done. Give it a bit of a wipe inside there. And uh, you can see what's coming off this pot here. All that black stuff. And I've actually got some of this stuff here. Circuit board cleaner which I'm going to spray onto my cotton bud. just to make sure we get any residue off that we can't see. Give that a clean in there too. Now 
Now, just looking at that, I think... I think we got this all cleaned up now. It looks pretty clean. So now it's just a matter of um, reassembling. So we put the little plastic cover back on, like so. Make sure it's pushed in all the way around. And put our gears back on. So we've got these two on. Then from memory, it's this one. Got this one on. Then this one. that and the final now the trick here is to get this pot lined up you can see on there it's got a flat edge on it that's this bit here now this flat edge here wants to be pointing down towards the motor so you just got to rotate it by hand oh, there we go and you got a little knob on here which has to point towards the other end of the motor. So we just push that on. So it's going to look like that. And that should just push straight down. And click in. And there we go. So we'll reassemble this, the case on, put our screws back. Connect it back up to our receiver. Okay, we're back on again. So let's have a look, see if we got rid of that jitter. So I think we have. This was about the spot where we had it before, looking at the uh, location on the meat on the transmitter. There's no jitter. And I think we fixed it. Fantastic. Anyway, that's how we fix it. Beauty. See you in the next video.